And now, local sports with Dustin Nolan. The Iowa Hawkeyes opened their season on October 24th against Purdue, but what has camp been like this fall for the Hawkeyes? Well, defensive players say it's been way different. Nah, this, this is anything but normal. Having school and being in like, uh, camp mode, that's, that's totally different. There isn't just straight football like that you're thinking of. So it's, it's a little different having, having class and having to balance that with football. But with everything, with majority of everything being online, it, it, made, it made it kind of easy. It's been uh, much more different. You know, we're not, it's not happening in the, the heat of the summer and also we're not in the hotel. So that's, it's more, more so, you know, come in in the morning, do all the work, meetings and lifting and all that. And then, you know, we have classes throughout the day and then we're gonna come back later. So it's more of kind of like an in-season feel, less, less so of the time commitment of camp. It's, it's definitely a lot different because we have school. Uh, it's not hot like it was. And then basically it's just, really to me, it's just like a season, honestly, because, you know, during the season, we got practice still, we still got class. So that's how I'm looking at this. Iowa State got a big win on Saturday, and so did the North Scott Lancers. The two programs have been connected with one another the past couple of years. Corey Rolden tells us about that Lancers Cyclone connection. The Lancers Cyclone connection is strong. North Scott currently has two former players on the Iowa State team and one more on its way. Two years around, one on the way is, uh, you know, they've been great. They've been great in recruiting our young men. Um, they've been great, you know, when we have questions, you know. They've been awesome. Their, their staff, uh, we're welcoming our staff up there and our coaches up there and, you know, sharing information and having open doors. So they've been really, they've been good to us. The Petersons are a big part of not only North Scott football, but Iowa State's as well. Troy Peterson played football for the Cyclones. Now he has two sons that can potentially play football for Iowa State. Zach Peterson is currently a defensive end in Ames, and Joey Peterson is committed to play there next fall. I mean, there, words can't explain it. It's You're so proud for him to play on the same field that you know I did 25 years ago. It's it's incredible. There's no I don't there's no words that can explain it. Amazing, just like Troy said. I mean, I was here at the same time as he, um, so to be up, able to watch him in the stadium and now Zach, and at some point Joey is really really cool. It means a lot to us to kind of have that legacy as a family. Great feeling to know that we've all made the decision to play at Iowa State and that we've all made the decision to further play football and have a good career with them. Joey Peterson is committed to play for Iowa State, but did his older brother, Zach, have any influence on his decision? Yeah, my brother's a big part of it. He was talking me through it, helping me make the right decision for me. He was pointing out a lot of good things that Iowa State had that I was looking for in a school and helping me find a good major. With three North Scott players going to play for Iowa State, can we expect more Lancers and Ames in the future? Well, with one on the way and two there, I don't know if there'll be a, more of a connection, but I mean, hopefully it just... They know our staff, they know our program, and so when they come recruit our kids, there's that trust factor. Um, it's still going to come down to, you know, we have to have kids that are, can play at that level. North Scott's head coach Kevin Tippett wants to continue the relationship he has built with Iowa State's head coach Matt Campbell. From Ames, I'm Corey Rolden, Local 4 Sports. All right, thank you, Corey. Northern Illinois football team has released their schedule today. The Huskies will play six regular season games. They open the season on November 4th at home against Buffalo. Then another home game against Central Michigan November the 11th. Then the Huskies hit the road when they travel to take on Ball State on November 18th. Then they finish out November on the road against Western Michigan on November 28th. Then they open up December. The Huskies take on Toledo at home on December 5th. Then they round out their final regular season game on the road when they take on Eastern Michigan on December 12th. The MAC Conference Championship game will be played on December 18th. All right, coming up next, with the Quad City Storm not playing this season, what's next for the players? We'll tell you next. You're watching Local 4 News at 10.